Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to remove fatal error in WordPress. So let's get started. In most of the cases, fatal errors are caused by WordPress plugins, but you are not able to log into your WordPress website dashboard to check which plugin is causing fatal error. So to fix this, at first we need to log into our cPanel account. And now from here we are going to scroll down to file section. So here it is. And then we will click on file manager. After that, we are going to click on public underscore HTML. If you have only one website on your web hosting, then all the files will be here. But if you have multiple websites, then you will have to go to your website folder. So here is my website folder. So I will double click on it. And now from here, we will go to WP dash content. And here we will see a plugins folder. So we are going to click on it. After that, we are going to right click on it and then click on rename. And we will add all to it. And after that, we will click on rename file. Plugins folder name is changed to old. And now we will go to our WordPress website and try to log in. And as you can see that now we are able to log into our WordPress website dashboard. Now from the left menu, we are going to hover our plugins and then click on installed plugins. And as you can see that plugins are not available. So we will go back to our cPanel account again. We are going to right click on the plugins folder and rename it and we will remove old from it and after that we will click on rename file now we will go back to our wordpress website again and then refresh it so as you can see that now all the plugins are back so now what you need to do is that you need to enable all the plugins one by one to troubleshoot just activate the plugin and visit your website if the website is working fine this means that this plugin is not causing any issues now again go back to WordPress dashboard, activate the second plugin and refresh the website. So in this way you can easily find out which plugin is causing an issue. So you can remove that plugin or you can use any alternative plugin. So this is how you can remove fatal error in WordPress. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.